Hey everyone, it is Havo High here bringing you a video on Super Dragon Ball Heroes, the promotional anime for Prison Planet series that's going on right now. And uh, if you haven't seen the current promotional anime, this is really going to be discussing the preview for episode 6. So we just got done with episode 5 uh, as we're this, we are at this, this video. So if you haven't seen all that yet, if you want to click off, go ahead. We'll talk a little bit about spoilers and things of that nature, but yeah, this is going to be a discussion video about this brand new character that was introduced in the preview, and I just want to talk about it, see what your guys' thoughts about it, and really kind of go from there. So with that, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below. Let's talk about this brand new villain? Hero? I don't know. It has to be a villain. It looks like a villain. So... Uh, this was part of the preview for the Prison Planet episode 6 and uh, it was pretty shocking because there's a lot of stuff going on right now you know with Ultra Instinct going to be in that episode I don't know if this is just going to be like the last uh, last scene for episode 6 is going to be introducing another character and that's really what this anime is all about introducing new characters so you can you know play these units try to get these units from uh, from the game if you never played Dragon Ball Heroes, it's a Japanese arcade game uh, that you need to collect characters, just like kind of like Dokkan, things of that nature. So this unit came out, or this character came out, and I was like, who is this person? So I want to hear your guys' thoughts. I want to, you know, comment below, who do you guys think? So I'm going to kind of explain to, to you guys what my mindset was when I saw this character. So first and foremost, I was like, okay, looks kind of like Cell. That was the first thought I had, and I go... Are they gonna do a Android version uh, of a of an enemy or a villain in Super Dragon Ball Heroes: The Prison Planet? Because you know you're seeing a lot of different uh, characters and a lot of different enemies from the past. I was like, well, they haven't done Cell yet, so I would think maybe possibly Cell is gonna be this this villain here. Now the hair and the kind of the extensions. I was like, okay, this looks totally different, totally weird. I was like, well, maybe it's Cell. But instead of Android 21 absorbing Cell, it's the other way around, and Cell absorbed Android 21. So creating this grayish silver, I don't know exactly what the colors this is going to be, because we only got a couple scenes of this character. I was like, okay, maybe it's a combination. And if you know about Heroes, it's all about, you know, like, uh, like fusion and, and bringing characters together. So I can kind of see this happening where kind of the hair that this character has is like the hair for Android 21. I don't know. This was that was the first thought that came to mind. So then I said, let's take a closer look at it and, you know, what else does this character look like? Well, for sure this character ends up looking like this guy here. <laughs> like a dead ringer for Hit. Now, Hit is not technically a villain. You know, he's a Universe 6 assassin. And yes, he looks almost exactly you know the drawing and everything you look at the nose look at the the mouth looks exactly like him but there's also another character in which this guy so so it could be like hit and combining android 21 i don't know that's that that's this is a little more far-fetched but i think it's really when i when i take a deeper look metal cooler or just cooler in itself so let's talk about why i think it's more cooler than hit or even sell is because of a different view that we get to see in this promotional video, this preview here. And that's his the back, the silhouette in the back of it. So if you look at the back, you kind of see that hair looking thing, uh, kind of like extension dreadlocks looking things on there. But look at the armor. I want you guys to focus on the armor. The armor basically looks exactly like cooler. Right, so it looks like Frieza family. It looks like that, you know, bone, silver, gray, white armor. But also, his bracers he has. Very reminiscent to Cooler. Now, it could be a version of Metal Cooler, but I think this character is part Cooler, part something else. So the question is, what is this a fusion of, or what is, you know, this a merge of? Well, there's a couple options. Now, based on looking not only at the, the top portion of this character, but the bottom portion, the pants of this of this character here. So there's a couple options. It's like, okay, who has kind of like this, you know, dark, baggier pants looking in the current anime? Well, I looked at it and I go, okay, well, it could be 
Trunks. Trunks has kind of like a black baggy looking um, uh, pants here and it could be a fusion of Trunks and Cooler. Now the reason why I kind of think this is because in the current anime, you know, they're kind of in the background right now. You know, Cooler's Golden Cooler actually. Golden Cooler is just sitting, um, you know, uh, like next to a cliff or something kind of watching the current fight between Cumber and um, and you know, Xeno Goku and Xeno Vegeta at this point in time. So, or actually, it's uh, Fu and and uh, the Xeno uh, Goku and Vegeta. But if you look at the pants and then you look at the shoes, I was like, what well, kind of the shoes kind of don't match? All right. So what's another option? Well, the other option is actually merging with Cumber because he also has kind of a baggy black pants kind of thing. But again, the pants don't really match up now. If Cumber and Cooler came together, and how powerful right now Cumber is, it's, it would be just ridiculous. So, but that's that's this game, that's this series. It's all about ridiculousness. It, nothing makes sense. Power levels thrown out the window. It's just people fighting people and, and, and fusions left and right, right? So finally, I go, okay. Well, then what would this actually look like? Because it has to have baggy dark pants, and the shoes. It's kind of like karate shoes. So I was like, oh, well, you know what? There's one character in Heroes right now that actually has the bottom portion of this. And that is Xeno Goku. Xeno Goku has baggy black pants. He has this uh, you know, little blue wrappings around it. But look at his feet. His feet looks very similar to the feet that you see here in the kind of the behind shot of this new villain, new character on here. So is it that we are looking at a combination, a fusion of cooler, not final form cooler, but just like kind of base form cooler here, and Xeno Goku. I don't know. This is just something that came to thought, came to mind, and uh, it, it could be. I don't know. Or this could be just a brand new spanking character, and, <laughs> and really that's it. So there's nothing special or they're not fusing anybody, which is surprising because Dragon Ball Heroes is all about fusing characters that don't really belong together. So, but tell me what your guys' thoughts are. I want to know if I'm on the right page. You know, is it Cell and 21? I don't think so because it's like with the bone armor, I think it's cooler than somebody else and it probably could be Xeno Goku. I don't know. With that, guys, this is my discussion on this brand new character villain that's dropping on Dragon Ball Super, or Super Dragon Ball Heroes, uh, in about two weeks or so. But anyway, with that, thank you guys for watching, and uh, you know, comment below if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. Catch you next time.